It's been more than a year since the U.S. withdrew from Afghanistan, but thousands of Afghan citizens who risked their lives helping American troops are still trying to get out. Right now, an estimated 160,000 Afghans are stranded, desperate for their families to escape the Taliban. A new report about the Afghanistan SIV program, that's the visa program that they should have uh, been able to access, has numerous errors since its inception, inadequate support and overall lack of coordination. All this run by the State Department. Here with me now is the author of that report, Senator Jean Shaheen of the Foreign Relations and Armed Services Committees, who's visited Afghanistan many times. Senator, one of the big highlights from your report you. is the logjam for translators to obtain uh, this approval. The chief of mission has to okay from the State Department, but only 11% of the current SIV applicants have it. So why the holdup? Most of them don't have papers because passports were burned by the embassy right. when Kabul was falling, which is the, the proper procedure for security reasons, but they were left without any kind of credentials to prove that they had worked for the State Department. Well, you're right, and that's one of the major reasons that we haven't been able to get those Afghans back to the United States. Um, Unfortunately, when the SIV program was set up back in 2009, it was set up as not as a permanent program, but it had to be um, reauthorized. The number of visas had to be redone each year. And it's really, um, that has really created a problem over the years, both in terms of restricting, further restricting those people who might be able to come to the United States, but also in providing no real ongoing commitment on the part of either Congress or the administration, whether it's a, been a Republican or a Democratic administration, to ensure that the program works the way it's supposed to. So what our report tries to do is to look at some of those challenges and to talk, make recommendations for what needs to be done to fix it. Now, the Obama administration, uh, the Biden administration took a big step when they got rid of the uh, 360 process that's part of it, um, which is a lot of paperwork and bureaucracy. That helps, but there's a lot more that we need to do. Senator, I spoke with one of the former SEIVs who, did, who finally made it out, but only in, he got out July 2nd, so almost a year afterwards, with four young children. Our troops called him Frank to preserve his uh, you know, identity. He worked as a translator for 12 years, was eligible for a special visa, had a State Department badge. It took him nearly that year to get out. Listen to him describing a journey, including a close call with the Taliban. They stopped my car and said, do you know, for example, Frank? I told him, yes, I know him. And I had no options. I said, where, where would be he? I told him, this is his house. And sometimes he's going to the gym and sometimes he's going to the cafe. Then he said, OK, thank you so much and get lost. Doing that again would be easy for me because now I feel my family is safe here. But if I anticipated and that 12 years ago, I would never stop that. We shot him in shadow because he still has relatives back who are under threat from the Taliban because of his work for 12 years. What can we do for these people? Well, that's right. Um, and for many of these Afghans, they risk not only their own lives, but the lives of their families. And we made a promise to them that if they helped us, we would help them get to the United States if they were at risk. And so now we've got to follow through on that promise. And um, it's one of the things that this report is designed to address, to look at ways that we can reduce that paperwork, that we can streamline some of the requirements of the program and make and prioritize those people who we know are most at risk and get them out first. Senator Jean Shaheen, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank I know you. you're going to continue to work on this.